These zoology master students have created a simulated environment, exposing fertilized coho salmon eggs to high levels of winter road salt runoff, used to melt ice and keep roads safe in the city. I found significant mortality at those higher salt concentrations where there was like a range of 50 to 70 percent mortality, so a huge number, which is again pretty alarming because these are concentrations we're seeing in streams currently. Eggs that appear milky white in the mimicked environment did not survive the contaminated salt water. Levels found in freshwater streams in Vancouver's lower mainland from potential snow melts entering drains and creeks. BC sets a guideline of 600 milligrams per liter of salt or chloride. So meaning at any given point in freshwater streams, we should not go above 600 milligrams. The highest we saw was 6,000. So that's 10 times BC's acute guideline. This is one of the 30 streams across Metro Vancouver monitored for road salt runoff. According to the researchers, Pacific salmon are already on the decline and this could be impacting salmon egg health. Salmon are born in fresh water and as they become adults, their bodies change drastically to adapt to living in salt water. Because there's so many issues facing salmon on, on the west coast, this of course could be one of one of the stressors affecting their their populations um, and so if we're able to kind of advocate for smarter salt use alleviate some stress for those populations. These future zoologists would like municipalities to consider using brine instead of salt for melting ice on roads during the winter months. As they say it uses 50% less salt and is more effective at sticking to streets and sidewalks and could save more salmon eggs. Road salt is one factor that could be contributing to their decline. So again, just trying to promote more awareness and hopefully smarter salting practices. In Vancouver, Angela Bowers, City News.